Ever wondered what would happen if two of the ocean's most fearsome predators, the crocodile and the shark, faced off in a battle for supremacy? Today, we're diving into the depths of this aquatic showdown to answer the age-old question, crocodile versus shark, who would emerge victorious? Welcome, nature enthusiasts, to another episode of Wild Encounters. I'm your host, Eric, and today we're unraveling the mysteries of the deep blue with a thrilling exploration into the potential clash of titans, the crocodile and the shark. Before we plunge into the hypothetical battleground, let's set the stage. Crocodiles and sharks, both ancient apex predators, have patrolled the waters for millions of years. Rarely do their territories overlap, but what if they did? Picture a great white shark cruising too close to the shores or a massive saltwater crocodile navigating ocean currents. It's a scenario that's as intriguing as it is improbable. Now, let's break down the tail of the tape. In one corner, we have the crocodile, a reptilian powerhouse that dominates both land and water. In the other, the great white shark, an oceanic behemoth with unmatched speed and stealth. Who would win in this ultimate aquatic showdown? Let's find out. Our contenders today boast impressive physical attributes, each with its unique strengths and weaknesses. Size, speed, by power, senses, defenses, and combat skills, these are the factors that will determine the outcome of our imagined battle. Let's start with size. While both creatures are formidable, the great white shark's potential to reach a staggering 5,000 pounds gives it a significant edge in sheer mass. But size alone won't decide this battle. Speed is crucial. Sharks, with their swift undulating tail motion, outpace crocodiles in the water, reaching speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. On the flip side, crocodiles showcase their agility on land, reaching speeds of 22 miles per hour. A deadly combination that should not be underestimated. Now, let's talk by power. The crocodile's formidable bite force of 3,700 PSI and its death roll technique make it a force to be reckoned with. But sharks, armed with a slightly higher bite force of 4,000 PSI and razor-sharp teeth, are no slouches in the biting department. The senses play a critical role too. Sharks, with their acute underwater vision, incredible smell, and the ability to detect electrical fields, possess a significant advantage in detecting and locating prey. Meanwhile, crocodiles rely on great nocturnal and underwater vision, along with pressure receptors to navigate their surroundings. An impressive arsenal, but will it be enough? Defenses are another key factor. Crocodiles, with tough skin and the ability to navigate both land and water, showcase a robust defense system. However, sharks, with their massive size and bursts of swim speed, create an imposing barrier against potential attackers. When it comes to combat skills, both creatures are ambush predators, but they employ different tactics. Sharks rely on biting and thrashing, while crocodiles introduce the unique death roll technique, making this category a potential tie. Now, with all these factors considered, who would emerge victorious in the ultimate aquatic showdown? The answer may not be as straightforward as it seems. In our hypothetical battle, the odds appear to tilt in favor of the shark. Superior size, speed, and sensing capabilities give the shark a decisive advantage. The crocodile's unique attributes, like the death roll, might pose a challenge, but overcoming the shark's predatory prowess and sheer dominance in the water would be no easy feat. Nature has equipped each of these creatures with specialized features for survival and the potential clash between a crocodile and a shark underscores the fascinating dynamics of the animal kingdom. And there you have it, the ultimate aquatic showdown between the crocodile and the shark. Who would you bet on? Let us know in the comments below. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay wild.